Good afternoon, all my friends. It's Anita with Artistically Your Stampin' Up. I uh, hope you're doing well today. The sun is finally shining again after a few really, really gloomy days. I hope you are staying healthy, staying home, staying safe. Um, I am. I did go to the store yesterday and got enough groceries, I hope, for two weeks because I don't want to go through that all the time and risk getting sick of bringing something back home to my husband. A um, few fun things I've been doing. Um, yesterday, I was talking to my dad about this picture. I don't know if you can see that, but these two are my grandparents. From These are all from Germany, but um, these are the two that I lived with for a couple years when I graduated from high school. Um, and this was their wedding picture. So my dad and I were just talking about who are all the people in the picture. And um, yeah, lots of fun. But it also reminded me that I think it's until the 5th, everybody um, can access uh, historical records on Ancestry.com for free. So I decided that in the next couple of days, I'm going to get out my old family history book. It's really full of newspaper clippings and all that kind of stuff, but I thought I would see if I could find out some information I don't already know. Um, it'd be about John's family because mine were all from Germany. So anyway, celebration is officially over now um, for another year. So the mini catalog is still going and I do have a new hostess code for you, which I'm going to turn you around and we'll get started on our project. Hi, Elizabeth Grant. Thanks for joining me today. I've still got my curtains up on these windows so that it uh, kind of see how ugly they are. But you know what? They work. Okay. So, the hostess code, what did I do with that piece? Oh, I see it. It's here on my desk, right where it should be. So this is going to be the April host code. EYQB2WJR. So I will post that below. Um, and I also decided that anybody who does a Facebook party with me in the month of April, whoops, you can get all those hostess rewards. So I'm going to save up whatever and um, anybody who places an order and uses this hostess code. Um, but then if you if you decide you want to do a Facebook party, let me know because it's a lot of fun. And since we can't get together right now physically, it's a fun way to get together anyway and have fun. So, but if you do a host, if you host a Facebook party during April, I will give you all the hostess rewards for the month. Um, if I end up with two or three parties, I will do a drawing at the end of the month. Okay, so I'll put that in the comments below. But today I thought we would do two different quick cards. Um, this is the first one. Don't you love that? But I decided to try it in, I'm, no, I'm sorry, this one I am doing in the in the Daffodil Delight and Melon Mambo, um, that doesn't sound right, Mango Melody, I'm sorry, Daffodil Delight and Mango Melody, um, using the Painted Harvest stamp set, also the Buffalo Check. So let's get started on that. First, we're going to use the Buffalo Check stamp. And I only want to use it on the front part of this card. So let's move that out of the way for a minute. And I'm using the Stamparatus because that makes it so much easier to make sure because this is a, a big stamp. You don't want to end up, let me make sure I got that on there straight. You don't want to end up having issues with the stamp not covering everything. Oh, I gotta go down here a little bit. I have to stand up to do this. Otherwise it does not. Okay, let's line that up good. And then I'm also gonna use a piece of strap 
down below this line just in case I don't want to get it messed up. So we are going to use the Mango Melody and I'm just going to cover, cover this whole surface with the Mango Melody. Yeah, I keep second guessing the name of that. I don't use this color a whole lot. There goes my paper. No worries, I'll just, whoop, that one's not going to work. I'll just use another piece here for a second. Okay, so then I'm just going to press down good on that. We'll lift it up again, and then I can see, you know, how did I do covering everything? Actually, it looks pretty good, so I'm just going to leave it like it is. I'm going to use my chamois to just wipe this off a little bit. And I will wipe it off more thoroughly later. Okay, so we're done with the Stamparatus for now. And we're done with this for the moment. So, what we're going to do next is take our Painted Harvest stamp set. This is so cute. I just really love it. And I'm going to just take what I'm going to need for this, which is these four for now. Oops, and this little fella. All right. So the trick with this stamp set is it's got one outside stamp that is a little more um, flat, and then it has one with texture. The trick is to do the lighter color with the outside, the one that's a little bit bigger, and then use the textured one for a darker color. Otherwise, if you do it the other way around, you're only going to see the dark color on the big one. So let's get started. Uh, I'm gonna again sometimes when you use these cling stamps it helps to have a pad of paper and then that way it somehow makes it a little bit easier and it stamps much nicer all right so we're using daffodil delight first and I'm just gonna put that high page and Magnolia, it's good to see you. All right, so that's the Daffodil Delight, the, the bigger one. Now we're going to use the other one that's a little textured. And we're going to do that with the Melon Mambo. I hope I didn't just mess that up. I think I did. I think I did the wrong one. See, I messed things up too. All right, let's try again. We're going to use... If I didn't, I'll know it in a minute. No, I think I did do it right. Anyway, so you can see there, it gives it a little bit of a textured look, right? All right, so that's all we need these two colors for, for the moment. And then I'm going to use Earliest Express Espresso, not Espresso, to do the center of the flower. And that also has a little bit of a not flat look, but it's supposed to be that way, so don't worry. And while I'm here, um, I'm going to do my sentiment since I have the espresso open. Sweetly Swirled is the one that I thought I would use for the sentiments. And I really love the You're Really Missed because aren't we all missing our friends now? I mean, it's, it's kind of sad. We've missed out on so much not being able to associate in person with people. The internet is great, but it's not the same as actually seeing someone. All right, so I'm using the You're Really Missed, and I'm just going to put that down a little. And that's it for that color. And then I've got the Granny Apple Green. These are all parts of the Bright Collection, um, except for Early Espresso. 
and I got the leaves out somewhere. I love when I do that. I kind of get stuff out and then I lose it promptly. Yep. <laughs> if this doesn't happen every time I do a live video, up oh, there they are underneath the stamp pad. Now you're going to be amazed at what you see here. So these are the two leaves. You see one has a little more texture than the other. We're going to use them both. All right, granny apple green for both. So again, you just lightly tap. I'm going to just get that in the corner. I'm going to do the same down in the bottom corner. Okay. And now we're going to use the textured one. Same color, same same ink set, our ink pad ink set. And can you see the difference between those two? So it's the same one, but the using the same color again with the textured stamp gives you a little more texture. All right, we're just about finished now with the first card. See how quick that goes? I promised you hedgehogs and I have not forgotten that. All right, here's our stamp adhesive. So all we need to do now, and see, see what I did? I thought I messed up. And so you just turn the paper over. You don't, don't have to think, oh, I, I messed it up. I need to start over with a new piece of paper. You don't need to do that. And I did forget to give you the measurements of these. So we have the regular um, eight and a half by 11 cut in half. So it's, um, and then you fold it. So you end up with five and a half by four and a quarter card. Okay. And then this one, I wanted a little more room left. Hi, Jessica Brigden. Um, I wanted a little more room left. So you could see some of the um, plaid there. And so this I made a little smaller. So it's the five by three and three quarters is the brown one, the early espresso, and then four and three quarters by three and a half. So, boy, this snail gives me so much trouble lately. Okay, there you go. You really missed. So that's the first card. Now, I promised you hedgehogs, and so you shall get hedgehogs. I'm going to give you a little bit of a sneak preview. Look how adorable that is. I absolutely love that. Yeah, Jesse, that you really missed comes from the Sweetly Swirls. And I've also used that for Love You. That's what we're going to use it for on this next card. But I love the you really miss because I do miss everybody terribly. All right, so hedgehog time. Again, we're going to use the pad of paper because that does seem to work a little bit better. And we're going to use the same flower that we used. We're going to use Sahara sand. And first, what I'm going to do is, is take the little center part. And I'm going to dab on Sahara sand and put this like as in the center if I can. And I stamped off because I wanted it to be a little bit lighter so it's not quite as dark. So stamping off means that you basically, instead of doing this, you stamp it off once and it makes a little bit of a lighter image. All right, and so again, with the, the same color, that Sahara sand, I'm going to take my piece of scrap and put it right on the bottom of that nose part, okay? And then I'm going to do everything just the way I did it on the other flower. I'm going to match up the circle. And now I'm going to do the same with early espresso. 
So I'm going to use the textured part, the smaller. And again, cover up right to the bottom of the face or the middle of the face. And make sure, because I have an extra little bit in there, I want to make sure that it gets all the way. Look, now you have the beginning of your little hedgehog. It's just too cute. So now all I'm going to do is take a real plain old pen and I'm going to circle in some eyes. There is a stamp set you can use that have these little parts, but I don't have it. So this works just as well. And then we're going to give him a little nose. What do you think of that? All right. And now we're done with that. I'm going to use the granny apple green and use a couple of different. I'm going to use, there's a cute little fern in this stamp set. And I'm just going to use the, the textured part of that. So with the granny apple green, I'm just going to go kind of like that so that it makes it look a little bit like grassiness or something. Cute, huh? I love that. All right. And we're not quite done with that yet. So now I have, this piece was three and a half by, uh, wait a minute, was it three and a quarter? Let me get out my trusty little, yes, I'm sorry, three and a quarter by three and a quarter, okay? And so this one is three and a half by three and a half, granny apple green. So I, oh, I forgot, I want to put my sentiment on before I finish with that piece. So for this one, I am going to do Love You, and I'm also going to do that in the Early Espresso. Okay, tap, tap, and I'm just going to put that right there. Now we're done with the Early Espresso for sure. All right, and I'm going to just take a minute and attach this with the snail to the three and a half by three and a half granny apple green. And I'm going to set that aside for a minute. Then I've got a piece of Whisper White. Not here, it's crystal clear. The video is acting wonky. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe it's your connection, Elizabeth. I'm sorry. Um, so this is Whisper White, five and a quarter by four. So what I'm going to do with this is, while I've got the leaves out in the granny apple green, I'm going to use them to just do a couple leaves in each corner of this. So I'm just going to do this, turn this around and do that. Leave this bottom one free for a minute. We're going to fill that with a flower. Okay. And then we're going to use the textured one. Same thing like we did before. And just put it on the top of that. All right. And so the original card that I made, I used Balmy Blue and Night of Navy for the flower. But I thought, oh, I think I want to try something a little more spring-like, even though the Balmy Blue is nice. So I've got Flirty Flamingo, also part of the Brights collection. And I'm just going to do a part of a flower here in the corner. 
it's not going to be able to be the whole thing because there's not room on this card. And then again with the Melon Mambo. Whoops. Well, that's not exactly what I intended. See, Paige, it happens to me too that sometimes my stamps don't stick the way that I'd like them to. All right, and then I'm going to use the Sahara Sand again. It's probably these have been used so much that they probably could use a little washing. So all I did there was take this little round one and make the center of the flower. Okay, that's it. Now we are ready for assembling. So we've got our hedgehog. And we're going to put that sort of in the middle. My fingers are dirty and it's not coming off very not making everything look really neat and clean. They're dirty from ink. All right, let's fold our flirty flamingo in half. And again, we're going to snail. I think the trick with the snail is put more pressure on. I, I sometimes think I, I think it should just glide along and then it doesn't turn out right. There you go. There is our hedgehog. And I will show you the balmy blue. So which one do you like better? The flirty flamingo or the balmy blue? I kind of like them both. I think we need something sort of more like spring. Right? And then here's the other card that we made. You like the blue page? Yeah, I kind of do too. But I, I thought, well, I'll try them both and then we'll check it out. All right, I'm going to turn you back around again. There. So, any questions about what I did today? So, I use the Painted Harvest for just about everything except for the sentiments. This does have some sentiments. Let me see if I can turn you around. I know I can, so that's not backwards. Okay. So here are the sentiments with that one. Your kindness means so much more than you'll ever know. I am thankful to you. Gather together and give thanks. So this was actually one that was for sort of a Thanksgiving-ish stamp set, but it is in the main catalog. Yes, Jesse, it is the shirt you gave me. I haven't unpacked all my spring and summer stuff yet. Um, it's very comfortable. And look, it matches the earrings that my friend Elise made me. Um, so this, the... Painted Harvest is in the main catalog, and so is Sweetly Swirled, which this one I've done cards with on my videos already, but it's got some cute ones. Thank you, love you, you really missed, you've really outdone yourself, oh hey. So this is another one that makes a nice simple card, okay? And again, that's, that's it for today, I think. Here's the host code again for April. And like I said, if you host an online party, if I have one online party this month in April, you can get the hostess rewards from anybody that places an order with this host code. Um, if I have more than one, if you all want to do an online Facebook party, um, I will draw. Okay? So I think that's it. I am going to go out and take my walk if I can stand it. It's sunny, but it's a little bit cool. And um, then we'll see. But I've got a lot of my other stuff done, so now I can focus on making some more cards. I sent three this morning, so um, I will be making more. Yeah. All right, so if you guys have any questions or if you need some help with something, if you've got a stamp set you want some ideas on, um, just let me know, and I, I'm here to help you. I've got time to help you. And... Um, Oh, Elizabeth, I have an idea for a project covering a notebook. That would be really nice. I've seen that done somewhere, and I don't remember where. But it's easy enough if you've got the even the designer series paper. There's some really beautiful ones. 
Um, I was just looking at mine today, and I tend not to use designer series paper a lot. Don't know why. But this is the one that's in the catalog. I should make a card inspired by my shirt. Oh, I wonder. I know I have the terracotta tile. What kind of other yellow do I have? Well, probably even the... Um, Yes, the Mango Melody. I don't have a turquoisey color unless, wait, I keep saying that. Then I can look. I have Bermuda Bay. So let's see, what did we just say? These three and then Terracotta Tile is, oh, or I have Crushed Curry. I have crushed curry. Let me see. I got too many things in my hand at once. That's the mango melody. Look at that. Let me stand up so you can get the good view. Okay, Jesse, you've challenged me. <laughs> so I will try that maybe for my next live video i will do a card based on this shirt and i'll wear this wear the shirt while i'm doing it okay so that motivates me to get busy and do something too and a dark green mellow moss or old olive i think i have i might have old olive i know i don't have mellow moss um and if i have old olive it might be in a blender pen and i don't i don't think that I have that in a in an ink pad. I have a bunch of retired. I have Lucky Limey. That's too light. Nope. I don't have that. But anyway, we'll see what we can do. But as I was saying, Elizabeth, back, I got diverted. Um, this is such pretty designer series paper. Look how pretty that would be some, your color, right? You could cover it in something like this. And then, um, I don't have mossy meadow, Jess. Here's just a black and white you could color in yourself. Let's see what else is in that bird set. Oh, here's, this is a piece of one. So there you go, Paige. You have those designer series papers. You can try to cover a notebook. Here's the other one that's so beautiful. These are also in the in the big catalog. They've got a lot of really nice designs. And I just, it's my own fault that I am not motivated to cut these up. I never just find the exact right one to cut up. See how nice they are? Those are also in the catalog. So anyway, guys, I will get working on another card video using the colors inspired by my shirt, as Jesse said. And um, let me see, today is, is it Tuesday? No, today, today is Wednesday. See what happens when you're home playing it safe. Stay home, stay safe. Um, you forget what day of the week it is. So I'm thinking maybe on the weekend, I'll have to see what, what it looks like. Um, we were supposed to have guests over for dinner. We've decided to do it virtually instead um, with our laptops or tablets or something and set them up on our table and eat with our friends as they have their laptop set up on their table. So that's the goal, I think, for Saturday night. Um, but if I have a chance, maybe on Sunday, if the weather is not great because if it's great we might be outside but I will definitely let you know ahead of time what what time slot I'm going to do it I will make sure this shirt is nice and clean and ready to ready to inspire me to make a card with so thank you guys for watching today I really appreciate it if you want to host a live uh, not a live if you want to host a Facebook party um let me know in the comments or send me a private message and we'll get a date set up for you because I am at my leisure.
So I've got all kinds of time to do it. And um, it'll be fun, I promise. We've still got the mini catalog and the regular catalog. And good time to do it when we're home and can, can enjoy it. Okay, so take care, everyone. It's Anita with Artistically Yours. Until next time. Bye-bye. Stay safe.